Welcome back to this new inspirational video. Today I wanted to go over the concept Everyone is myself pushed out, as it was phrased by Neville Goddard. Now if we want to understand this concept, I think the best way to look at it is the fact that everything you see physically exists within yourself. Now to the average person that makes no sense. How is that even possible? How does that work? Well, what we're getting at here is what Neville would talk about many times throughout his lectures is a state of lucidity, being aware when your body's asleep. He would have numerous examples of him entering other dimensions, as he would call it, and witnessing things there that were just as real as this physical world that we're currently experiencing. And to the average person, they may not make that connection necessarily that it has something to do with lucid dreaming as we would term it in this day and age. If you have the experience, you understand what I mean, but I've had the experience numerous times throughout my life where I would really be aware that I was in a different world. I would go to sleep at night and I could see the same people, talk to the same people and actually manifest instantly whatsoever I desired because there was no restriction of time and space as we know it normally through time space reality and that is exactly what he's getting at that everything is yourself pushed out it exists within yourself you can resurrect it from within and experiencing in its full glory in the inner world of consciousness and then it can also show up on the so-called outside world this is very fascinating because generally speaking we go along with the world as it is thinking it's outside of ourselves that events are taking place around us that are currently outside of the body and when we're sleeping we're still thinking that everything is occurring outside of ourselves we are not aware that we're dreaming most of the time if you were to become aware everything changes around one time I've had the peculiar experience that as I was sitting in my room, I had this feeling that this was a dream. Right now I'm recording this message in the same reality as you are currently in. But yet I felt it was a dream, just as when the body was asleep, usually. I might become aware that I'm dreaming and then take total control of the dream realms. But over here I felt the exact same for a couple hours and then the feeling went away. It was such a profound feeling that I knew in that moment in time that nothing could actually touch or hurt the real me. I was one with all of creation. I could sense this unity. I could sense that if I were to pass away right then and there, that there was nothing to fear, nothing to worry about, because I knew I would just go on. It was such a profound and deeply spiritual feeling that came over me that again confirmed to me that this concept of yourself pushed out or everyone being yourself pushed out is actually another way of saying that you're aware of the unity of life itself that everyone is connected how else could you communicate with people that have passed away unless they are part of you and therefore yourself pushed out we have to learn to look beyond the physical appearances of a person for example we have to connect to their actual essence because that is establishing unity since I can establish a connection with people who passed away, I can also do this with people who are still alive. If I can but look beyond their current physical form and connect to their soul essence, just as I would if they were physically no longer here. Now with connecting to the soul essence, we mean developing the ability to feel your way to watch the real person, not just the person they are based on their name and race and gender and their past physical experiences, but actually, that essence we would call upon if they were passed away. Because then there's a slight difference there in approach. We have to feel our way to them on a spiritual level in order to reconnect. We can no longer do it physically speaking. And yet, if we're alive, we tend to only approach people from a physical angle. And therefore only see that part of them. And think that's the only part to them. But yet, when somebody passes away... Most of us will admit we would like to reconnect with them. We want to re-establish on a spiritual level our unity with this person that we feel is gone. But they're never really gone. They all exist within you. Because everyone is yourself pushed out. Now this is perhaps a little tricky to explain exactly to the average individual. 
But what we're getting at here is the fact that if you're asleep, for example, and you're aware that you're dreaming, you can actually hold literal conversations with people that are no longer physically on this planet. But yet these conversations are just as real as the ones we could have right now in time-space reality. Again, it shows that this connecting link between me and them is within me, and therefore they are myself pushed out. They are part of the manifestation of my own awareness of being. And it's going to be the same for you and other people. They can see you in their dreams even though you aren't necessarily there consciously. But yet, because of this unity on a spiritual level, we can resurrect everyone and everything within ourselves and then make it real and alive to our own, well, sense of sight, both physically and spiritually speaking. This is absolutely incredible and beautiful once we lay hold of it more and more throughout our lives. So once you lay hold of the power of your own imagination and understand that anything you desire and can imagine within yourself will throw itself on the screen of space is only possible because everything exists within yourself. Everything is yourself pushed out. Once you realize a dream, you are looking at the manifestation of an imaginary concept that exists within yourself before it even physically occurred. Again, everything is yourself pushed out. This also includes all the people around you that will help you increase and manifest and realize your dreams. That is the beauty of the unity we share. Now, another interesting fact about all of this being everyone is yourself pushed out is also that Neville Goddard can actually show up to anyone in those realms as well of the mind. So if you go to sleep at night, he could show up there and you could hold a conversation with him. But he's not going to be the exact same Neville as you knew him on planet Earth. He's even greater than that and it's going to be the same for you. Once you pass away, you're not going to be the exact same version of yourself you were physically speaking, but an even greater, bigger, more spiritually powerful force and version of yourself that already lay dormant within you at this very moment you're still on planet Earth itself. So with me one day, as I've said in previous videos, is that I once fell asleep and had this very clear vision where I was on top of a mountain and I saw a body of pure light and it spoke out to me and it was exactly the same voice of Neville Goddard. I recognized his voice instantly but yet he was speaking things that you can't find in any of his lectures to me. But yet it still happened to me. I cannot deny it that this happened. So I know this could work or occur to anyone and I'm sure there might be other people out there who have met him or other people who are actually physically passed away already and he would also talk in his own life about having conversations with William Blake who was no longer on planet earth either but yet he had these conversations with somebody that passed away because again everyone is ourselves pushed out everyone is myself pushed out means that I'm only observing the own concepts of my own consciousness therefore this unity can never be broken but from a physical point of view, we think we can lose people and things. And temporarily, it seems we do. If somebody passes away, you feel like you've lost them. But yet you can re-establish a connection on a much deeper spiritual level with these same individuals. And therefore, you can still have the experience and joy of having conversations with them or doing things with them in a totally different dimension of your own being. They are all part of you and you are part of them. If they contemplate you, they will resurrect you in their own dreams and consciousness. And likewise, if you contemplate them, you can resurrect and make them alive within your own consciousness. This is absolutely powerful because this can set you free from all doubts and worries and limitations you physically experience. Usually that is what is holding people back. It keeps them stuck and it doesn't allow them to see the true unity of life itself and therefore it becomes a total chaotic struggle at times for most of us. No matter what I look at, whether it be something positive or something negative, something highly destructive or something highly constructive, it doesn't really matter. I can fall under the same force and spell, so to speak, of doing great things or horrible things, just like anybody else out there in the world. 
You know why this is? It's because everyone is myself pushed out. I share in the same qualities that I see others portray to me because they're a part of my own immortal spiritual self. And it's the same for you because I am yourself pushed out. You are myself pushed out. You are portraying elements I could express and I am portraying elements you can express because we're all one. Everyone is yourself pushed out. We just have to decide for ourselves whether we're going to embrace and embody the positive elements of life or the negative elements. But in both cases, no matter which side we pick, they will move into form with and through us and we will witness people coming into our worlds that are either highly optimistic or more optimistic than any of the others before that we ever met or they're going to be even more destructive and negative than the ones we ever met up until this point in our lives because this is all part of the unity we share because everyone is yourself pushed out now with this attitude if we develop it more and more that everyone is myself pushed out it will help you see unity on a greater scale and therefore it becomes increasingly more clear that by hurting others we are actually hurting ourselves in the process as well you cannot hurt another person also in for the fact that if you do so the attitude you need to be in in order to hurt someone the emotional state that you need to indulge in in order to get yourself to a point of wanting to hurt someone also hurts yourself for the obvious reason that you're allowing yourself to be in a negative state of mind as you're involved in the activity it's pretty obvious but again most people don't consider it from that angle or go that deeply into their own consciousness to become aware of these facts because ultimately this unity means that we all have a responsibility of making the most of ourselves of trying to give off the best of ourselves so that everyone and everything will ultimately benefit it's like gradually lifting up the human race to a higher and higher level of awareness to which more and more people become capable of expressing themselves more fully. That is essentially what all advancements on this planet have been about, through technology or anything else. It's advancing in such a direction so that it ultimately becomes easier for people to express the powers of their own consciousness. But as long as we don't understand the unity that we share it might be used for bad things or because of this ignorance we might shy away from it we don't want anything to do with it it sounds like magic it seems too bizarre too crazy to our senses at times all the things that are occurring to us but yet they're still part of the deeper parts of our own consciousness because all this technology for example that you see it says nothing to all the visions and wild adventures you could have inside of your own imagination but the way to discover all of this is again to pray and to embrace and to hope for that experience that you too may become aware when the physical body is asleep so you have actual literal proof that you can no longer deny that you seem to have a different body as well you have this physical one but there's a spiritual one and it's that spiritual one that puts you in a position of unity with all of creation because in that realm with the spiritual self everything becomes possible instantly you can do and manifest whatever you want and it's instantly available to you a person you want to talk to will be instantly available to you to talk to to communicate with and that's absolutely beautiful because again it's a totally different sort of communication we'll be having with each other right now we have to actually make time specifically in order to communicate with somebody but from the spiritual self, no such things are needed because of the unity that is in place, that is behind everything. You can hold a conversation with me in your dreams, and yet it's not taken away from my time. What I mean by that is that if physically speaking you want to communicate with me, I would set up a time, an appointment where I can be like, okay, let's have a talk. But yet there are people out there who can tell me they might dream about me or somebody else, and they're still having meaningful conversations. With me, they might say they have conversations about the mind, about ideas on how to improve it or some spiritual questions they have. They ask me in the dream realms and I answer them, even though I can't recall that I would be doing it to them. Because again, it's part of this unity. It's like we are involved and connected with each other's soul essence. So the discovery of knowing that everyone is yourself pushed out becomes meaningful once you realize that 
you can always draw upon anyone from the depths of your own consciousness by simply contemplating them within your mind. If you contemplate inside your mind, what would Neville say or suggest about the situation? And you try to feel your way to the answer. You don't guess it. You feel your way to it. You actually can feel when you are receiving guidance from either him or anybody else. It's another reminder that you are one with them, that there is unity, and that therefore they are yourself pushed out. They are a concept of your own consciousness that is being shown to you. By the mere act of contemplating them, you are setting in motion the realization of receiving an answer, the manifestation of receiving an answer from their soul essence that still exists within the universe, just like yours will exist after you pass away, just like mine will exist after I would physically pass away. That is the beauty of all of this. Everyone and everything is yourself pushed out because everything and everyone is a concept of your own consciousness being thrown into physical form confronting you. Very, very powerful once you analyze and contemplate these things for yourself and what they can mean for the rest of your journey on this physical life experience. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.